Lorentz gauge. We already discussed the gauge transformation. Then we have discussed the Coulomb gauge. Now we need to discuss what is Lorentz gauge. Coulomb gauge in a case, I'm not the condition in the world, delta t equal to zero and I don't know. But in case of Lorentz gauge, delta t is equal to minus mu zero epsilon zero dot v by dot t. The gauge which gives delta t equal to minus mu zero epsilon zero dot v by dot t is called Lorentz gauge. Delta t in the world, minus mu zero epsilon zero dot v by dot t and angle, a gauge in a week in the world, Lorentz gauge. Now, Consider the equation del square v plus rho by dot t of del dot t equal to minus rho by epsilon zero. Here del dot t is the Lorentz gauge substitute here. That is del dot t equal to minus mu zero epsilon zero dot v by dot t in the substitute here. Now here equation, you have del dot t equal to minus mu zero epsilon zero dot v by dot t in the substitute here. Here we have term in the term of term minus mu zero epsilon zero dot square v by dot t square and item r bucket term all of the world now that is l square v minus mu zero epsilon zero dot square v by dot t square equal to minus rho by epsilon zero now consider the equation del square a minus mu zero epsilon zero dot square a by dot t square minus del of del dot m plus mu zero epsilon zero dot v by dot t equal to minus mu zero j your equation is Delta dot equal to number Lorentz gauge substitute that is delta dot equal to minus mu zero epsilon zero dot v by dot t in the substitute here minus mu zero epsilon zero dot v by dot t in the substitute here here term this second term this term will become zero that is minus mu zero epsilon zero dot v by dot t plus mu zero epsilon zero dot v by dot t in one that will be zero then equation e e the number greater than so equal del square a minus mu zero epsilon zero dot square a by dot t square equal to minus mu zero j. So, now we have two equations. One is on v and another is on a. del square v minus mu zero epsilon zero dot square v by dot t square equal to minus rho by epsilon zero del square a minus mu zero epsilon zero dot square a by dot t square equal to minus mu zero j. Let us compare these two equations. That is del square minus mu zero epsilon zero dot square by dot t square acts on v equal to minus rho by epsilon zero. Del square minus mu zero epsilon zero dot square by dot t square acts on a is equal to minus mu zero j. Here and equation a let us compare the original number operator equation that is del square minus mu zero epsilon zero dot square by dot t square. I know I'm good. Define JM as an operator and it can be represented by a box that is equal to box square. Del square minus mu zero epsilon zero dot square by dot square equal to box square. So it's an operator. So it's a differential operator. Lorentz gauge treats V and A on the same differential operator. Lorentz gauge in a sumchet it treats scalar potential V and vector potential A on the same differential operator and that differential operator is del square minus mu zero epsilon zero dot square by dot t square. Our differential operator is called box square operator. This box operator is called D Alembert operator or D Alembert shift. You know what D Alembert operator or D Alembert shift. Now, the above equations can be rewritten as operator in the bottom. Now, we the alimentation operator substitute it in angle. Above equation can be rewritten like this box square v equal to minus rho by epsilon zero. The alimentation operator a equal to minus mu zero. It is the number above equation rewrite and solve. That's about Lorentz. Yes.